What do you think of that word? Shiny. That cedar looks awesome, doesn't it? So we can actually draw on it without having more The day has come to fiberglass this thing, and I am so excited about this because I've been talking and thinking about this as I'm getting closer to the end. I'm so close. So I've been talking about this for a while now. Um, I started this build last July, and actually the ironic thing is last Father's Day was the day that my boys gave me the canoe build book that got my mind going again because I've been putting this project off for years. So I'm excited that I finally got it. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and fiberglass this thing. I'm actually gonna get the boys out here to kind of come and help me because I'm kind of excited to have them a part of this process. Before I get going, I'm gonna show you a few things that I have here that uh, some things that you'll need if you're doing this on your own. So total boat is where you can find all of this stuff available that I've been able to pick up. Uh, I've got, this is gonna be four ounce fiberglass. I'm going with four ounce. I have about, most of the skins on the board is about a quarter inch. So quarter inch, maybe down to eighth in some spots, but a four ounce glass should be fine on this. Uh, you're gonna need plenty of cups for your resin. Uh, you're going to need squeegees. You can use a brush for this but the squeegees kind of help really get the epoxy pushed into the fiberglass to get a really good adhesion. And finally here, I'm going to need the actual epoxy itself. I am using the high, high performance resin. This is a two to one mix with a slow hardener. There are faster hardeners, which you can go with, that's fine. I also recommend some gloves, which I will throw some on. And so I'm gonna go get the boys and we're gonna go ahead and get this thing started. So. I'm excited. So one more step closer. My birthday is in about a month. And I've told you and I've told people that my goal was to be on this thing for my birthday. So I'm almost there. Let me get up. Up. Am I to that four yet? Keep, Keep going. going. Keep Stop. going. Stop. We're supposed to. Go. Where am I supposed to go? To the other four. The two fours by almost by each. You're not there. Almost. Okay. You're done. You're done. You got this. You said five minutes of mixing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pour it down the middle, and then what you do is you just kind of like pull it, kind of pull it down the middle, and then pull it to the sides. Okay, so your HUD you'll pull it to your side, Barrick you'll pull it to your side. With the squeegee. Yep, using the squeegee. Yes. I do. Can I do this first? Uh -huh. Isn't that cool? Wow! It like. You can like see in there. Yeah, that's what, see how, that's what we're trying to do with the squeegee. Okay. 
Yeah, boys. Just kind of keep pulling it. Hit with this spot. Okay, come over here and do My arms are getting tired. So here, this this is a brass vent. You see this? What does it do? Well, you drill it into the paddleboard over here, mm -hmm. down here, okay? So I'm gonna drill it down here, and it's gonna get threaded, and then that releases air pressure so that the board doesn't crack. By the mm -hmm. X? Yeah, by the X. All right. Top layer done on the fiberglass, so my boys helped me out a little bit. That was uh, that was an experience, uh, but it was fun having them out here and working on this because it was it's kind of a thing that we've been doing together a little bit. One day I hope to build one of these with them or a canoe or something, but we're getting there. <laughs> Again, guys, I am using Total Boat. This is a two to one mix uh, with a slow hardener. And so they send you these nice little fancy cups that also go with this. And if you look here, I'm doing the two to one ratio. And for right now, I'm gonna fill up to about four parts, which doesn't quite get me to 22 ounces. I need about 30 ounces for this pour. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Pour my part one, oop, pour my part one up to the short four, and then I will fill with the hardener to the long four, and that'll get me at about to 22. I'll mix it up, and then I'm going to pour it in this bigger one here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and mix up. Um, I'll probably do either a one to one, or maybe just go ahead and do a two to two pour, and that'll make sure that I have enough to finish this bottom side. So I'll stop here right about this short four, right there. I'm gonna go ahead and mix. And one last huge shout out to my friends at Total Boat. 
who helped me out with a ton of this stuff. Their epoxy and their fiberglass has been awesome to work with and I can highly recommend them. And again, as I've said before, one of the biggest reasons why I highly recommend them is because when you call them, you're going to get a person that's going to talk you through your project or whatever it is that you're looking to do. You're not gonna get a robot, you're not gonna get a an, uh, just a blanket email of cust info at customer service, send us an email. You're going to call a person, you're gonna talk to a person that works there and has worked with the products. So Total Boat, I can't say enough on how appreciative I've been of the products that you've sent here and all the help that you've provided me for the last couple of years. Thanks again. All right, I think that's gonna about wrap up this episode. So this is gonna be the end of episode four. So I hope I've uh, helped you kind of visualize a little bit of what it takes to fiberglass a paddleboard or a canoe or whatever it is that you're building. This was the first time I've ever fiberglassed. So uh, I'm sure if you've done it before, I'm sure you picked out some mistakes that I've made along the way. The one biggest issue I've, I've consistently had is getting the fiberglass to lay flat. I don't know if it's a matter of the fiberglass itself, but there's a couple of air pockets that I've had to go back through and sand. But uh, I had to do that on the top side. Probably I see a couple spots. I'm gonna have to do it here on the bottom side, but I'm sure there's some things that I can do to get that to lay a little bit better. But thanks everybody for the support. Uh, I've had so much fun building this and, and people commenting on it, and I'm hoping it leads to some other big things. You'll have to tune in and uh, keep an eye out for what I might be talking about. Uh, so episode five is going to be putting the fin box on, adding those leash plugs and the vent plug, and doing the flood coat, and then me on the water. That's episode five. So jump back in on the next one because... It's going to be a fun and you're going to get to see me on the water on it. And I've never, never paddle boarded before either. And I've never paddle boarded before. So I had somebody comment and call me out a little bit. And I think they're thinking that I might not be able to do it. So maybe they're right. Tune into episode five and find out. Thanks for watching everybody.